completely different. Electric Ketchup Power! Pew! The man, the myth, the legend Chris Chan has been making the rounds online once again. We're all aware that he's free, he's not in prison anymore, he's even back at the Sonic 2 temple with his mother, you know, the one he is uh, accused of, you know, doing the business with. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep banging your breasts over and over again until I give you a first dosage of my comeuppance. And then, and then you know what, I'm going to... Lick it, I'm gonna lick it off your face, and then we're gonna share it in our ton like ton sharing moment. And the reception has been mixed, I would say. Some people are happy to have their uh, Jesus Christ, Sonic Chu, Galactic Princess Queen, whatever the f he goes by, back and online, and others are pissed off and <laughs> we're gonna look through some of the comments today but first let's check out his twitter he's back on twitter posting like nothing ever happened and uh a lot of people seem to be happy about it from what i see like like this one here uh here's my ac and h dream code for everybody with animal crossing new horizon your dream of cwc isle is still filed under the address da2294 you know i don't know what this is I don't, I, i'm assuming it's some kind of it's some kind of player code to, to join his village or whatever they're called i don't play animal crossing because i'm not a fucking baby okay i play video games for men all right like like csgo quake and cooking mama you know the good stuff time's up Anyways, let's take a look and see what kind of comments he's getting on this post and see if people want to be a part of Chris 3 in, in, in Animal Crossing. Genuinely glad to see you're still playing Animal Crossing. Well, Trey, I'm genuinely glad to see that you support incest with no shame. Pretty based, okay? Don't kink shame, guys. Don't ever kink shame. I'm re-downloading Animal Crossing. Can't wait to visit. <laughs> he has genuine fans, man. They want to they wanna be part of the vibe. They want to be there at Quickville, Animal Crossing Quickville. Me and my way to CWC Isle Town meeting. See, yeah, people are happy, dude. He's got his uh, supporters. So this begs the question, what is the true consensus of Chris Chan? Do people like him now? Is he forgiven? Is he absolved of his sins against his mother? I know there's a lot of people who say that he's not guilty of it, but uh, I mean, the thing is like, yes, legally he's not guilty of it, of course, right? You know, we can't, I, you can't persecute the guy anymore. It's over, it's, it's, it's Jover, it's Jover. But for the people who are saying, oh, he just made it up, Come on, man. He's been brutally honest for the good past of maybe like 20 years or so. To a fault. He's been brutally honest to his own detriment. And all of a sudden, people are just saying, oh, he's crazy and just makes shit up. No! He's been telling the truth since he was born. He's been true and honest all this time. I just think a lot of people pick and choose what they find to be the truth and what they find to be a lie. Uh, where we can believe that this grown man shits himself based off of his word, but when it comes to the other situation with his mother, people don't believe it, even though there's a lot more evidence of him f***ing his mom than there is of him shitting himself. But you know, that's just how it goes. You know, I'm not here to I'm not here to say what you should believe. I'm just saying it's strange what people pick and choose. And bro, look at his face when he reads his donation by Roland and Trollin, which is a hilarious name by the way. You ripped your mother and then bragged about it, Chris. The only reason you're denying it is because people are upset with you. Enjoy your dollar. Don't spend it all in one place. I mean look at him. He looks petrified. He looks disgusted. He looks Discuss it with himself. It looks like somebody like a, a he looks like somebody just walked into his room and pointed a gun at him, bro. But of course, somebody immediately donates about Sonic and he gets chirped right back up. Oh yeah, it's a really good show. I've watched both seasons so far. Alright, but enough. Alright, I'm rambling on. I'm here to finally voice my opinion on the future of Chris Chan and his airing it all out video. You know, the one that he looks f***ing psychotic in with his disgusting medallion. I have been neglecting this for a while because when I, I, I clicked on the video, right, and I got a glimpse of it and immediately, immediately I was just turned off. It was so... It was horrific. It, it, it just it scared me. I, I, was, I, I got frightened. I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I clicked on the video about two weeks ago, I saw a man who was, in my opinion, under psychosis. It's just something about Chris Chan is just off now. It's just, he's never been all the way there, but now it's just off, you know? But make sure you grab yourself a snack and a nice tall glass of orange juice because we're finally going to watch Chris Chan give his side of his story. Setting the record straight, there never was any sex involving me in 2021 at all. Not even just about his mother, but you know, just no sex involving me whatsoever in 2021. What about before 2021? I feel like you've been doing this before then too, but whatever. It's okay, it's okay. It's not okay. Hey everyone, Jesus Christ, the Western Chair, Sanji Prime here. 
And right now I'm gonna set the record straight. Oh no, oh no. So already off the bat, it, it just sends a chill up my spine. It's something about his face nowadays. It's just, and not trying to be mean, not being like, oh, he's so ugly, he looks like Benjamin Franklin. Like, no, legitimately he looks psychotic. Like he looks like a serial killer. Just that little tiny, like angry face he did right there is so evil and conniving. So just so y'all know, straightforward and blunt to the point, the reason I went to jail, the charge I was charged with, I was innocent. There <laughs> never, ever, 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 ever was any sex between Barbara and I, period. How, how if you don't mind me asking, I know that's probably personal, you have an answer, but how is the sex? First of all, cap. All right, <laughs> all right. There's no way he went to that much detail, that level of detail about f***ing his own mom, and it wasn't true. I just, you just don't make those stories up unless you did it or you fantasize about doing it. And second of all, where's his mom at? Isn't he at the Sonic 2 Temple right now? Can she hear her son talking about not f***ing her through the walls? I need to know how he got the okay to go back, right? Like, in these situations, don't they have to take you somewhere, even if you're not guilty? I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe maybe Barb said it was okay. Maybe that's what it was. I'm not too sure. Or maybe, just maybe, she liked it. You know, maybe that's a possibility. Maybe she liked it, okay? Because if you remember... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm not saying what Chris did was okay at all, and I'm not saying that Barb was not a victim. But let me just remind you that within the story of Chris Chan, there are a lot of instances of Barb being the pursuer, being the actual... I don't want to say predator, but she was pursuing some kind of affection from her son, which some can just argue was a normal family bonding but I feel like most of us would say, no, that was not normal whatsoever. And he himself even said that she was the one who was asking for it, which is f***ed up. But uh, once again, true and honest, I, I believe Chris's word a lot more than most people do because a lot of people just think he's crazy and they write him off as some crazy guy. He might be crazy, yes, but he's also true and honest. Don't forget it. So obviously, we got all the hangers and fakers and the toxic sinners. And really, that tried to manipulate me, and so much. I mean, just uh, that was a mess of good grief right there. Why did y'all have to do that? You all really erroneously misunderstood me. Period. Uh, and just that was a whole mess up. I mean, shoot. Even y'all, y'all with your freaking smut fictions. I know. Num I know some of you out of the minority that are the worst. That are the worst. Out of the majority being actually good okay whoa hold on what yo hold on what did he just say that the majority of the smut that was made about him and his mom is, is pretty good i'm i'm kind of confused at this point i i don't know i don't know maybe i misheard that i'm not too sure i you on the minority you've written those smut fin fictions you shipped me with barbara you shipped me with that sn with that snow lights Ooh, yo, whoa, man, come on now. Bro, what? This shit has to be like a joke, right? Like, there's no, he just called his mom a Snorlax. Why is he hating on his mom? Is he, is he mad at her now? What the f is going on? Yeah, I don't know. This is why I, I have been out of the loop, dude. I have been so out of the loop when it comes to this guy. You know, now that I remember, in one of his jail letters, I swear he said something about wishing that Barb would drop dead so he can go home. Is he is he blaming all, oh, that's right. Yeah, he did put the blame on Barb. Oh no, dude, I really hope, I really hope that house is like cordial and, and not crazy. Cause you know, Chris Chan believes his own delusions. So if he convinces himself that all that jail time was Barb's fault, then God rest her soul. It was not the perfect, mother-daughter relationship there, period. Just, uh, growing up, there was the times of abuse, even though there was the love and caring in there and throughout. But that was a whole different kettle of fish right there. Uh, but yeah, the bullying, the terrorizing and all that, they r really f***ed me up. I feel so... Just enough said right there. But hey, you're never going to make me commit period and that was the attention that Bella had in all her chopped and screwed up recordings with all the attention and manipulating me into that do you guys think Chris Chan knows about chopped and screwed music because the way he said that was just too perfect and if he doesn't know about it do you guys think he'd like it I, I don't know I don't know what what does Chris Chan listen to I, I just assume like video game soundtracks right he's one of those kids with the DS in the back of class man that, that's that's always a shocker to me because it's like I still 
am iffy about the Omega Bella hate because like as far as I know she just she didn't really cause him to do what he did right wasn't he or he was already doing it and then she was just like oh how can I use this to my advantage right a lot of people say that she's the one who caused it to happen but that's just not the case right that's just not the case but then I, I do always forget that uh she did want him to kill himself for whatever reason what a weird thing man like what as a troll why would you want your main source of entertainment to end their life you know because that, that's not even trolling that's just demonic that's just weird weirdo behavior like chris before this whole 2021 situation was just a goofy guy with problems right but people they wanted him they want his life ruined and that always weirded me out but for the people who want them to commit uh side it's just like what's the goal there like what, what is wrong with you it's like when those evil villains are like oh i'm gonna destroy the planet it's like okay well then where are you gonna live like seriously why the f would you do that i mean none of this your end goal doesn't make any sense at all but uh yeah man bella is a straight weirdo who also photoshopped her pictures and had uh, a foot fungus thing going on i've seen the pictures man that can't be real right it, it can't be that foul if you haven't seen the pictures don't look it up it's it's pretty disgusting it's something i've never seen before ever and i've seen a lot of shit all the attention and manipulate me into that but hey, I foreknew she was gonna do that. I tested her. At the time, I only, I treated her like, you know, just as a friend, try to get her to be on the good side. But obviously she failed. Just like I foreknew the relationship between Dylan and Taylor, that was not gonna last. He abused her. I gave her support on that live stream when I went on there. Just support and kindness, because I appreciate her as an artist and an individual. Which is more than I could say for Dylan at the time. Uh, but yeah, Bella was going to actually record me and Fifi having done something at the hotel had I actually made it to BabsCon. But fortunately, that didn't quite happen. She, she, one way or another, she would have got me into jail or tried to get me to commit on, on the whole different like that. But hey, she failed. She didn't do that. I took the initiative in my own hands, so I let my I let my I let divine intervention and timing and everything just send me just let me go to jail, spend my time suffering and spend the time for your sins, you fucking toxic ones. I thought he was gonna drop the the gamer word right there. All right, well we get the point. Chris isn't guilty in the court of law. Uh, he smashed his mom's cheeks and did the dash and he beat the case. All that yada yada yada. And the rest of the video is him calling Bella um, a lying bitch, which she may be. I mean she she is a conniving bitch, so we can at least agree on that. Chris Chan and I. But on to his next ventures, right? Obviously, a lot of us have probably been seeing that he's been up to uh, live streams uh, as of late and. Honestly, this is what I've been telling people he should have been doing the entire time. When he was doing the begging during the, the financial crisis, every single time I saw those videos, I'm like, why doesn't he just live stream? If he was just normal, even though I, I get it, yeah, he was live streaming. But I'm saying like, boot up some, some little big planet, boot up some Overwatch, some League of Legends or something, even if you're not good at it. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Chris Chan will be getting donations, like without a doubt. And the way that I know this is because he already has his Etsy store back up and people want to buy things from him. They've always wanted to buy things from him. I mean, do you remember the Sonic Chew totem? Remember that? He sold it for $1,500 and someone bought it. Like that thing looks horrible here. Uh, what is it? Sonic Chew totem? Yeah. <laughs> what is this man like dude somebody paid fifteen hundred dollars for this god bless their fucking soul man like <laughs> like i said before he has his following and people genuinely do i wouldn't say like him but they're they're fascinated by him to the point that they want to be involved with him i mean look at this a friendly reminder getting your daily good dose of vitamin filled fruit Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Oranges have vitamin C for defenses. Banana, okay, I'm not, I don't care. Uh, but the top comment is a sweet treat for a sweet girl. <laughs> you sick bastard. Glad you're eating healthy. Thank you for the wonderful advice, Christine. <laughs> Can't get enough of that fruit. Okay, yeah, we get it. <laughs> All right, anyways, we're gonna be taking a look at his live stream and seeing what he's up to, seeing what he's doing, if it's paying off, if you got any super chats, you know, I'm not going to lie. You guys are probably going to, you know, hate me a little bit for this, but I'm hoping to see some super chats in this in this live stream. So first things first, the the like to dislike ratio is uh, pretty good. Honestly, I, I got to give him some credit. 
Uh, let me go ahead and add to that. I'm also liking this uh, breakdancing Sonic in front of me. You know, put some UK drill on that, it might go crazy. Uh, he could put some intro music here to, to spice it up, you know? Just giving you pointers, Christine. Ooh. Bloopers aside, where's the thing? Okay, well, he still hasn't switched his audio to mono, <laughs> so hopefully he gets better with that because it's only coming through one ear. I'll fix it in post, though. God, see, chat is lighting up, dude. Oh, look at this. It's amazing. Oh, what's a, what's a first time without a few little hiccups from here and there? Oh, here's one for the boober reel and all that, but that's okay. It's all expected done good. I can tell everybody's doing good. And some of y'all got they got the jump ahead with a few premature details here and there, but that's okay. Anyway, obviously donations are greatly appreciated. And uh, it's like, you know, Martina Tarnin donated a dollar just a little bit ago. I appreciate that. And uh, oh, the Chris Complex. Yeah, definitely appreciate that, especially considering I got a uh, few fun things and uh, other important details I got to take care of. Uh, I don't know if Chris caught that or if he just ignored it because he knows who Oedipus Rex is. He knows about it. He's read about it. He's talked about it. So I and Chris isn't as dumb as people think he is. He's he's naive, but he's not dumb, which I know he, he would maul if you heard me say naive, but it's, it's the facts. So I wonder if he saw it and just ignored it because he's like more mature nowadays or if he just didn't catch it because old Chris is still somewhat in there. You know, if you check his Twitter, he's still posting shit like this. I will be doing a Q&A live stream later today. Also, Hasbro and YouTube.com at My Little Pony. Please only stream G4 My Little Pony and Equestria Girls. <clears throat> and stop streaming G5 My Little Pony. Nobody cares for it at- <clears throat> Jesus f***ing Christ. Nobody cares for it at all. And seeing them even occasionally pop up on my subscription feed does indeed bother me. My Little Pony G5 does not exist yet in this timeline. Chris, what are you talking about, man? We're in the timeline right now. You're living the timeline. We're all in the same timeline. Of course it exists. <laughs> you just said you watched it. And you know what? I'm calling it right now. When it happens, come back to this video and say you're right. Chris Chan is going to end up on Dr. Phil. I know he is. I know within a year or two, Chris Chan is going to be on Dr. F***ing Phil. And we're gonna sit here and it's gonna be big news and it's gonna be hilarious because he's gonna sit across from Dr. Phil and he's gonna be like, so you're telling me that you hit your mother's G-spot? She liked it. <laughs> God, these are his words, man. He said that. He, Chris Chan said that. He's talking about timelines. Well, we're in the timeline where you said that, Chris. Acknowledge it. <laughs> Acknowledge your past. Appreciate that. And uh, oh, the Chris complex. Yeah, definitely appreciate that, especially considering I got a uh, few fun things and uh, other important details I got to take care of uh, with the fun day. But ask for my, but ask for uh, just a few. Excuse me a second. <sighs> yep, dabba do. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, dabba do. <laughs> Like this is awesome. He did this for two hours. I need to. I need to just put this on one night and just watch the whole thing. What, what do you guys think, huh? Would you watch Chris Chan live stream? I I would. Um, just to see what it's about. He's got a lot of viewers. He's got a lot of chat members. This can be a new age of Chris Chan. I I thought the reason why I waited so long to make a Chris Chan video is because I thought that he was just so sick that I didn't even want to talk about it anymore. It was just so not funny anymore. I've known about Chris Chan since I was about like 13 or, or 14 or so, right? Blue Spikes age, remember him? And coming from like the happy-go-lucky, quirky, stupid Chris Chan to this weird-ass demigod person is just so disheartening. And then seeing his eyes in that video that we watched earlier, it made me not even want to talk about the guy anymore. I was just like, this dude is so sick. But if this is going to be him for the time being, this whole live stream arc, I don't know. You might be seeing a lot more Chris Chan on this channel. I guess I can go break the fourth wall a little bit. Got a good microphone here. It's not perfect, but I can speak a little louder and then it becomes a little bit better. But that's a whole different kettle of fish right there. But anyway, aside from that, we got better equipment, we got details, we got better boundaries to make established. So yeah, there'll be, there's filter set up, so there's hardly gonna be any cursing or anything like that. And I'm not gonna read anything that is offensive or derogatory or anything. And just to go ahead and get rid of the FAQs. I mean, if you I mean, the, the Etsy store will be restocked by Halloween. 
It'll be forever stocked by Halloween. That is the official statement. That is where we are at right now. And uh, let me think. Uh, but uh, there's notes, notes, notes. I'm, I got a notepad here. What you want some dick? Okay. You have to at least admit that Chris Chan's mannerisms are why we all love him. Because my gosh. The guy's like a mixture of like a, a southern grandma, Barney the dinosaur, and a serial killer all mixed into one thing. But to be honest, when it comes to this live stream, uh, it's just him doing his normal stuff. Just him being Chris Chan, drawing a little bit and things like that. Uh, I do want to point out, he is getting a ton, a ton of donations, which is just, it's not shocking, but it is. Because you would think that people hated him. I thought people would hate the guy. But the meme outlives the hate. And personally, I think there's a, a truth that we all can't come to. And is that for these low cows, they're all polarizing figures. So a lot of us would rather be able to watch them than not watch them. And we just hate admitting it. Speaking of donations, one of the first ones that Chris gets is one asking about his faith and what he believes in and trying to convert him to Buddhism. Uh, and this is what Chris has to say about it. I'm multi-religious, so Buddhism is a thing with me. As well as Judaism, Christianity, and everything else in between. So for those of you who know, Chris likes to pretend that he's Jesus Christ, right? A lot of people believe that he believes thoroughly that he's actually a god. I don't, all right? I think it's cope. I think he's seething. I think he's molding. I don't think he believes in any of it. I think it's just him trying to take some kind of power back into his life and just convincing himself that's how you do it. Because when you see him talk about religion, it makes little to no sense. And none of it is consistent with his prior beliefs, right? If you believe that you're the real prophet of Christianity, why would you also believe in other religions? And on top of that, if you do believe in those religions, does that mean that you're also the prophet for those ones as well? Or are there other gods? Are there other, well, no, actually, yeah, I think there are. There's other CPU hearts, right? Uh, Megan's like CPU red heart, I think. Oh, what a weird, what a weird piece of lore. I do sometimes wonder what a world would be like if Chris was a god, because uh, <laughs> imagine your god still snorting and swallowing his own snot. It's disgusting. <laughs> My brain is trying to break out, but I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna stay on the groove and the flow, and be on with the show. I do want to point out that his setup is a lot cleaner than I thought it would be, and he he seems to have a. <laughs> he actually never mind. You know, I was gonna I was gonna compliment his um his utensils, but they're just all Crayola <laughs> Crayola markers. <laughs> I do really wish that he would just upgrade his utensils and, and his medium and. And get better. I want to see some cool graphic designs of Sonic Chu and a whole fleshed out story from Chris Chan. If this is going to be his new life now, just go back to doing that, man. Like, if you just make actual good comics and nobody, I'm telling you right now, nobody would care. Nobody would care about what happened before, unfortunately. But, <laughs> you know, they would still make fun of you. But is if you, if Chris can actually improve his technique, I guarantee you, I think a lot more people will go like, oh, wow, look at that. Rather than going like, ew, look at him, you know? As the stream goes on, he does get a couple of like uh, troll donations that he racks to just, uh, <laughs> he just kind of stares at him. It's really funny. But that begs the question, is he going to get help with moderation or is he just going to stay like this? Because he doesn't like to improve at all, but people do always seem to reach out and help him. So maybe we'll see uh, some top donators and some, uh, and some well-known moderators as time goes on. Because he's definitely going to need those considering the fact that like about maybe 40 minutes in, somebody already tricks him into saying the N-word, which is my highlight of the whole stream. Just because <laughs> it's like, of course, that's going to happen. I, you know, it sucks, but you know, what can you do? Digger, the sabore. Digger. Hey. I see where you're going, man. <laughs> But yeah, that's about it for the stream. Uh, he does this for two hours and he's really just talking about cartoons while drawing his own cartoons. So we're going to end it off by reading the comments and see what they have to say about this. Insane stream. Feels utterly surreal to see CWC back. Uh, for the most part, yeah. I guess, yeah, I could feel that. The fact that CWC is still alive and outlives some trolls is truly a spectacle. Who died? Whoa, whoa, who died, dude? Outlived trolls? Yeah, who died? Blues? Yo, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It says, it says who died. Blue Spike, remember? Clyde Cash killed him. <laughs> I really, really genuinely can't believe I'm living in a time where Chris is just back and streaming. I'll make it to one of these streams eventually. Eventually, maybe. I don't know. I was hoping for uh, more chaos. You know, some more chaos emeralds in there. This user says, uh, Chris is mad brave for leaving the comments on for any of his videos at this point. 
skull emoji. Ooh, uh, that is true. I'm gonna go ahead and get it a like. Uh, this one right here, I love. The Sonic 2 medallion looking extra moldy today. That it is. It's looking fucking disgusting. It's like, it's the main reason why I just didn't want to make videos about the guy anymore. Because when I saw it, when I saw him put that thing on, I'm like, this dude is like Daniel Larson crazy now. Like, that that thing is fucking disgusting, dude. And yeah, it's affected by the green screen. It, 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 I noticed that too. It's, it's so green and disgusting. It's affected by the green screen. My gosh, I think he got a new one though. That, that That's good. I think he got a new one. Adam Wegner says, uh, it's like a physical embodiment of everything that can go wrong with mental illness, unrestricted internet access, and the state of modern society. An entire generation of Chris Chance is the future we have to look forward to. I don't know, man. Like, uh, you know, yeah, I do. I, I can see that because, uh, Look, I'm about to, Virgo's about to get big brained uh, red pill mode. There's a lot of people like Chris Chan just walking around and nobody does anything about it. You know what I mean? And then on top of it, we kind of, we validate their delusions when we really shouldn't. You know what I mean? It doesn't seem like we have the proper facilities or system to help these kind of people. That and a mixture of what I see on social media definitely has had a, a, a detrimental impact to younger people. But I'm a total hypocrite and a scumbag and a bitch ass because uh, I have a Twitter, and if you want to follow me, it's uh, at 64BitVirgo. I'll put it down in the description and also flash it right here if you want to follow it. Um, but yeah, uh, regarding the guy's comment, just be ready, guys. Just uh, just be ready. That's all I got to say. Just just be ready. Shit's about to get real. And we're going to see a lot more of these Chris Chans walking around. But that wraps up this video. Uh, I know it's been a while since my last video. I've been working on a documentary. I don't want to spoil it who it's about, but I'm going to give a hint for those who, you know, are, are keen viewers. It's about the Kawaii princess, the baddest of the bad, the most beautiful Kawaii queen. So yeah, it's been your boy Virgo. And like always, drink water, breathe air, and move your body. Peace.